The Andromeda Galaxy. It's one of the biggest and brightest galaxies out there, but even so, I've never yet managed to take a picture I've been proud of of it. What's going to make tonight's efforts different to all the others, you might wonder? Well, the red cat right behind me has got something to do with it, as that's a fantastic little wide-field apo scope, something I've never tried imaging this target with before. The other part of the puzzle is going to be that this is actually going to finish off around about 11 hours of total data capture over the course of above a month. I'm going to go ahead now and get polar aligned, and I'll catch up with you all very shortly. So polar alignment's finished now, and before I actually get started on the target, I wanted to make sure everything's in perfect focus. So I've picked a star on the same side of the meridian as my target actually is currently. In this case, I've picked Camp in Cassiopeia, and I'm now going to perform focus using the ASI as focusing tool itself, matched up with my own custom designed and 3D printed Binov mask. Alright, it looks like focusing is now finished. The only thing left to do is slew to M31. Image capture is finally underway on M31. I'm polar aligned, focused, and plate sold to the target, and I've just hit go on those first few frames. Unfortunately, in the time between actually getting set up and hit and go, uh, a few clouds have rolled in, but on the whole it doesn't really matter at all how tonight turns out because thanks to Chloe, she's the one who's been doing this project so far, shooting all those frames, I've actually got about 10 hours a day to lean on at this point, so it doesn't really matter. Now, another reason that Chloe's let me use the ASI Air tonight and her little rig to finish this target off is to let me get a little bit more practice under my belt using the ASI Air system and there's a very good reason for that. So by the time you see this video, I'll probably already have received an ASI Air Plus. I'm getting one of those early because I actually applied to the ZWO ASI Experience Officer Program and very luckily got selected. Now, full disclosure, it doesn't mean that I'm being given a unit or anything like that. Uh, and there's no stipulations on types of review or if I say anything positive or negative about it I still had to buy the unit I did get a small discount which is fantastic because it's something I was absolutely going to buy anyway but yeah I'm just looking forward to getting it in my hands now and making a start I've been talking about using one for a while so actually being able to get started with it is going to be fantastic Well, unfortunately, those clouds have been blowing in from over in the southwest. They've finally drawn an end to this session. They've gotten so thick now that there's just no point in carrying on. I did, however, have a look through the data that we'd already captured over the course of the past month or so and weed out any bad frames. And I'm now copying across all of the data, including some flats and bias that I took onto the USB stick for processing later. Well, I hope that you've enjoyed watching this video. Uh, I know it's probably been a little bit shorter than usual uh, after I've edited it all together. But all the same, I've had fun at least recording it, and I hope that you've had some fun watching it. And I certainly didn't want this capture of M31, which I'm, fingers crossed I'm hoping, is going to be my best ever by a mile uh, to go without a video to follow. Anyway, with that, I'd like to say thank you very much indeed for watching. A huge thank you to everybody who's joined my channel. All the YouTube channel members, you guys are fantastic. And uh, I want to thank you very much indeed for your support. Until next time, anyway, Clay Skies.